What's your name? Muzako. Preferred Junior Spirit. I'm from St. John, the Virgin Island. My name is Scott Sobiak. How do I spin it? Gregory Jackson. Stephen Reichel. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Roosevelt E. Maynard. Welcome to the Virgin Islands. Hello. My, my father, my, my mom, and, 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 um, started me and, 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 and thing. Because I said, I come on mess. I really done and out at hope and struggling, you know, to live an everyday life, you know. So I really hustling out there. I lose, I just told you I lose all my work. I still begging and I still begging and looking for a walk every now and then just to stay on Main Street, to stay alive and exist, you know? Back and forth every now and then. No, I, I, I'm, I get stuff. I get work. I mean, I, I get I, I get some work when I can. When I can. I came over here and it hasn't been easy. It's been rough and I am disabled. That's the reason I'm not working. I have uh, deep vein thrombosis, which is basically just blood clots in my whole legs and whatnot. But uh, I can't think of a better place I'd rather be. Well, I had two other roommates. They left and went back to the States and left me by myself. And that's how I became homeless. It was too expensive. Uh, Supporting myself for an apartment here. Okay, money. I go 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 in the plaza. Do some some work in also the in the plaza. Make some money and think think kind of, kind of things. And I do something something to survive, man. Anything to survive. All right. Tell me about your life story. Well, my life is alright. Okay. I was sick one time, but alright now. Oh, I I I was a bad man. Uh, the regular Virgin Islander. Old time break dancer, you know, but break a at school. Um, uh, behind a Lucy's tap dancing, tap dancing school and stuff. A little tap dancing, UBI tap dancing school, went over school, Lankin school, at a little Concord high school. High school used to do tap dancing in elementary for break dancing and stuff. From Likal, I from Likal, um, from. Uh, at the Atlee and the Manor Radio Station. I don't be with him too much. I got a little age on you know? So I have to go. I was born and raised in Texas. Emancipated at 15. I've been on my own since I was 15. I will be 49 years old next month. So. Spent 19 years in Alaska. Well, 20 years in Alaska, but 19 years in the Bering Sea. I've spent most, well, half my life in the Bering Sea. Hawaii, Hawaii for eight, and here for six. Well, I owe miss. I'm gonna miss a big bee and live on a street and live um, um, up um, up up a, up a side and and live in an abandoned place, up on a house. And my my father and my, my mom and and and, and um started me and and and, and thing because I said I said I come on mess. No, I went crazy like I know what we go, right? I used to like ride horse and so. I used to walk, walk in. I used to drive. I used to live in a house in. But I really don't pick up, you know. I respect them. You know what I mean? Because I ain't walking or nothing but it's too bad. You know what I mean? I'm a good man, tell a fool, but I just live on the street. But I never stayed here from the end. You know, I grew up in St. Thomas, you know. Went to school, job all the school days. I got out of school, I can't cry, I can't cry. Job out. Had a few jobs, got well, well, got married ill. Um, being homeless, not homeless. Uh, born in Burbank, California. I'm here via Key West, and I am disabled. 
That's the reason I'm not working. I have uh, deep vein thrombosis, which is basically just blood clots in my whole legs and whatnot. But uh, I can't think of a better place I'd rather be. My friends and family are here. And I moved back to Key West for a while to see the doctors, but I decided rather than playing TV tag with the remote control, I came back to be with my friends and family. So here I am. Are you with me? Yeah. Um, um, clean up. And um, anything for, for, uh, for, for them. And as, as we, we um, some, some, something else for them, and the army, I'm going to get rich, go to the dump, and come back, and, and finish, finish the again. No, I almost, before it's gone, I almost, I almost went. I was born here, but I never, I never seen New York. But I know it's like, I went there really, I went crazy, but I always know. But I took my medication, you know? Where I worked to uh, Red Cross. And then I worked to Sugar Bay Beach Resort in St. Thomas for four years. And retired from it all. And came over here. And it hasn't been easy. It's been rough. But I'm making it. My name's Mike. I'm a crane operator. There's no cranes on the island. We chose, in fact, I think we might even have it right to live here. Life is good, I have good friends. Guys like you coming down and talk to us. Drugs and alcohol are not an issue. Life is good in St. John. I got a little bit of work when I was young. I've been in the hospital for a while. So I didn't get a job again until a couple of years after. Now I'm walking by the smoothie store, over here by Captain Cook, for a while. I'll be there forever walking. I'm a, I'm a master plumber. I came here to run Palm Bay, right? You know Chuck and Hole? You know Chuck and Hole? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I came here because I'm, I'm, I'm a master plumber. I came here to supervise and do that project. Well, I had two other roommates. They left and went back to the States and left me by myself. And that's how I became homeless. It was too expensive. Uh, supporting myself for an apartment here. Um, sometimes you have to go, you know? They don't tell you, they don't tell the government, they tell you they go, um, after you living at a certain um, time and moment, they could leave you live for like apartment rent or something like that. They have your application or something like that. You don't take it over or anything like that. You work with everything. Um, you do um, application until they say they could offer your application for rent. And then if they close the application, you go. If you share application originally, somebody could fool you for it, you know? Apparently that uh, my boss, when, when, when I got laid off, just told me that they, they just gave him a check for $800,000. So I'm supposed to go back there and finish it up. Sometimes, you know, I don't really carry a potential mind exactly to the highest best, you know, like Nubian mind. Easy. You know, the regular human spirit and character, I don't really carry it every time. You know? so what's, like, what's your daily, what's your daily struggle? Like, what you got to do? Oh, 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 the day to survive? Okay, the day to survive, living on Main Street, I've moved from this side, I have to, like, try to get work. All my work is gone right now. Lift chairs, clean up the ground, throw away the garbage. Put in the chair, the table, and that's about it. I had to do what I had to do. Is there anything I can do to make money, legitimately make money? No drug dealing, that's out. 
but whatever I can do to be supportive of myself, making a little money here, a little money there, that's what I do. I feel like I'm getting up in the area, healthy, wealthy. I already was working. I was working. I was working. I was 16, 15, I was working. Every morning I go, go, go to the plaza, do some, some work in the also in the plaza, make some money, and think, think kind, of, kind of things in the plaza. And let people start pick up and stuff them and make some make 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 make, make my own money. Clean up stuff, move stuff around for people. Just helping people out in general. I came here to start that job. I I've worked out there for two years. I just been doing my own thing on and off since then. Gotta do something. Something to survive, man. Anything to survive. Tell me one of your most happiest childhood memories. Most happiest childhood memories. Childhood. Yeah. That will make you smile and laugh. Think Winning about. Prince and Princess Board, Jane Islands at Doba School. Mm. Roosevelt, Maine. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, um, I, I can't tell you that. Um, that's like real baby age, real baby age. Mm -hmm. That's when you had, uh, that's when you had magic or something. That's when and, you had magic. Yeah, that's when, that's when, I kind of magic and uh, do treats and stuff. And you do, yeah, I, that's, that would be the most, the most happiest of all. I think the most happiest time in all will be part of uh, the first real age of um, elementary school. Well, I know if you're going to college, you're local. I know like um, West Pemberton, he had Pauline in jail. He had a brother named West Steve, but he died. Tell me about your childhood memory. So, I was mad, was mad. My mom um, beat me in my head and thing. And because I've been, I've been moved from, from a, I've been moved where, 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 where up and I've been, I've been moved. My mother died in my arms. She took her last breath in my arms. Now that is the best memory I'm ever going to have in my life. Why is that? She gave birth to me. I took care of her when she was dying and she took her last breath. I can't go any better than that. And I know that sounds weird. It's not like going to Christmas. But who gets that chance? I was very fortunate. Very fortunate for that. God took her away from me, but right here. Right here. I'm gonna tell you, you know? But all right, I clean cars and go. I see that a long time ago. And my brother died from cancer. My brother died from yeah. cancer? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know Jeff? Remember tall Jeff? The, the drunk? Trump here all the time. I don't know, well, that's that's my latest memory. He uh we're sleeping right there. We're sleeping right there. He died right next to me. I I woke I woke up and this man this man is that exactly to the day he's born one day before me. One day before me, but a year before, he died right there. Right there, right there, right next to me. And then, and from that day, from that day, and if you ask him, his name was uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, dang, I can't remember his last name. Right here. Get wet. You sat here and got wet. Pull the tarp over. We're on video. We should almost pull the roof. We try to pull this over, but that leaks. I mean, it's just, there's so many holes in it. It's better than nothing. But 
you know, what are you gonna do, get up and run away? Where are you gonna go? They don't want us here, they don't want us there. So you sit here and you get wet, you dry up. Mama ordered me with a waterproof package. Yeah, you dry okay. off and you start again the next day. That's all you do. Soap up, get get, yeah, get a shower. Take a shower, sorry. You get clean. We call that laundry day. We try to keep it, we try to keep it humorous <laughs> around here. If you yeah, don't, then night. you're losing it up here. You know what I'm saying? We've got to keep it funny because laughter is the best thing we've got. I had a girl one time. Take my school. Oh, okay. But I can name um Susie. But she had a bad life because she had a girl who used to work um Kati. This is basket, he's a made nose. Remo. He's a made nose. Next one day, like a correction of that. You know how they put my like grip it? Go on high, you go up, um, probably, you know what I mean? One Louis, you know how they put it, man. You know how they put it? Yeah, but uh, I look like grave, you know, I look like um, best man. But when I was smiling, I was from police, right? But yeah, right now, uh, I mean, I don't walk and show, but. I leave for the garbage can, you know what I mean? But something to protect yourself. I love it here. I've been here 21 years. And I wouldn't change a thing in the world. Look at this land. Look at the air. It's beautiful here. It's not, it's not easy, but as long as you sustain your, your mind and uh, doing something positive, you'll make it. You, you, you for certain make it. Just never give up and always smile and believe in God and the people that are around you. Yeah, I looking for the garbage man. But my mother died, when I clay. So I didn't want to go in school because no one policeman. You know, if you're a policeman, you say people, right? I mean, the man do you think, do you think about? Once you're old man, you're out there, man, right? Yeah. I get like shot a break. I never see, I never see the same place. So the police do you? Well, they didn't even go because they take me to hospital. You know what I mean? So I ain't nothing to say. You go to hospital, right, the man? And you go to the shop, right? High school, I didn't want to find it. I didn't want to go to the field, I was back to Ali. My first job was Lincoln School, right? I really won't pick trouble. I mean, like, I have it now, you know what I mean? My son was born and I would cut the umbilical cord, brought him home, put him home, put him in bed. And two weeks, two weeks later, two weeks later, I mean, this is actually, it's not a dream. He uh, had a 106 degree temperature, 106. This is in Alaska. And I ran out my truck got my truck going, it's minus four degrees, minus four, minus four degrees. I remember, don't ask why I remember this stupid shit, but, and I raced in 16 miles, 16 miles in a town in my truck with my two week old son. He was only two weeks old at the time. My wife, still at the hospital, raced, raced, raced him into town. And I made it, I made it there in like two minutes. And don't, don't ask me how I made it there that fast. Because I scared, scared to death is why. Going rushing, rushing in. Okay, the hospital's closed down. And I'm beating on the door. And I can see the security guard right there. I can see him. And I'm beating on the door. I got my son in my arms. And I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. So, yeah, but, but anyway, he, uh, I, I get him awake pretty quickly. And I run past him. And I go into the emergency room, run right, right by him. He's trying to grab, grab me by the arm to stop me. <laughs> I'm like, nope, 
emergency room, find out where I know where I'm going. And uh, I remember my son in there, and the first thing they do is they take him and they put him in, in what do you call it, an encapsulating chamber with ice. They take him and put him in ice. They drop him straight into ice, and he's, he's screaming well and now. He ain't, he ain't like it. But they have to bring him down, because 106 degrees, you're dead, I'm dead. We're all dead, 106. But, I mean, then that's, that's my worst nightmare that, that I have over and over and over again. Because it's the worst thing I've ever done. That's the worst thing I've ever had happen in my life. I really more and I'm more better out of work right now. I, I've been a post office for like, um, for like, um, I think somebody told me definitely 15 years, definitely, that don't beg them for a dollar. He just come and give me a dollar or something, right? Uh, I don't have much left. My mom's the only one, my mom's the only one I got left. My mom's the only one I got left. My, my son is somewhere in Arizona. He, he, don't, he don't call me on Mother's Day because... <laughs> Father's Day ain't, ain't till what, next month? No. I really don't and out and hope and I'm struggling, you know, to live an everyday life, you know. So I really hustling out there. I lose, I just told you I lose all my work. I still begging and I still begging and looking for a work every now and then just to stay on Main Street, to stay alive and exist, you know? And I sleep all around, I, I, I sleep all around. I, I get run, I get run until fire station couldn't um, help me anymore with beat up and kick up sleeping in the park. So I have to go back to my community with five years. And... Keep your sunny side up, keep your thumbs up to the sky and just try hard to succeed. Never give up on yourself or on other people either. Go to the ball, go to the gym, put the gun down, put the drugs down. Yeah. Go play ball, go learn how to box. Watch what you do. Stay away from the bad influences. Listen to what your parents have to say. But look at the most positive thing you could possibly find and run that track. Oh, I hope to live and regain my spirit again and get my Nubian mind and infinite side easy over again. I'd like to be able to um, be able to magic, pop and dance, and I can't really prove it or show it to you really. But um Uzi Wuza for the break dance My crew used to be the break amatic crew. The most important thing and only thing that's really important and really inspirational my self-esteem alive is to stay away from the police department. Finish school. Finish school. Whether it be high school or college, finish it. That's the key. I, I think. I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that, but I, I think that's the key. We got too many people dropping out, and that's kind of the bad influence we get. Like you two young men here. You two guys are, are marvelous, man. You're doing something positive. And you know, you use, use you for an example. And look at young people like you, who I'm way older than. I uh, wish you the very best at what you're doing, because you're doing something that's on a positive note. And you can't take that away from you. This moments now that you like now that you're interviewing me, you'll remember this forever. So when times get bad, you can say, I remember years ago I was interviewing that old man and he gave me hope and aspiration to succeed, keep going to school, keep working. And you can't go wrong, not at all.